Okay, so we just got done with the other side of this tire. As you can see, Quinn, you want to show them right here? Right here, this rim, it's pretty well rusted. And so uh, we had to take it off of the hub and, uh, well, we don't want to go and keep the tire anymore. You can back up a little bit, buddy. There we go. And so in order to go and get it off, we, uh, we're we having the tire shop go and do it. Well, since the hub was shot, they really didn't want much to do with it. So we ended up going and buying this tool off Amazon. It cost me like $80 right here. Yeah, it's the Vivor. Um, I don't know if that's what it's actually uh, advertised as, but it said do not use impact tools. And so all I'm doing is uh, using this, it's a 30 millimeter uh, wrench, and uh, it is sucking it on in like it's supposed to, and it has a nice heavy back. And I'm just, as it starts to get on in there, I just beat it on in a little bit more. And uh, it's, on the back side, it worked fabulously. It took us right around five minutes and if it's this rusted on the front side, it's just as bad on the back side. So. How do I turn it off? Why? I just want to know. So, all we're going to do is show you how fast it actually is. Because this is a pretty darn rusted rim. And uh, this tire is it's not holding there. It's not in great shape. So, we're just getting it nice and tight. Dad, you're Axel, doing do, good. Or Quinn, do you want to tighten this up? Yeah, sure. Okay. I'm going to switch spots with Quinn here. And it, you can see it's straight up and down pretty much. You want to show him how straight it is? Yeah, sure. Okay. And let me get this started. Now you can just work it around, okay? It does get kind of hard. It does get kind of hard. Uh, but I have to say... Uh, this is a heck of a lot easier. How about you go on the inside and I'll go out here, buddy. Okay. Yep. You push. Ready? Well, I should say it gets kind of hard for a six-year-old. Okay, I got it. You got the hard part over there? Yeah. Okay. You're a pretty hard worker, buddy. You want some help? Yep, push. There you go. Use that horsepower. Do you have horsepower? Yeah. Or do you have cardinal power? Horsepower. You have horsepower, huh? Yep, but little by little, it is working its way on in. Yep. I gave you the hard part there. You gave me the hard part there? Yeah. You're pretty tough. I like hard workers. And you know, the back side we only had to do in one spot before um, I was able to pop it completely loose. But honestly, if I have to do this in two, three spots and only spend 20 minutes popping this thing loose, it's worth it to me. It's definitely worth the $80 spent. So, But you can see right down there. It is just working it away nice and easy. The hardest part that I've noticed so far is actually getting it on the rim. And this is a 18.4 by 30 uh, tractor tire. We have a rusty but trusty John Deere 2440 from 1976. So, yep. All right, Quinn. You want to come back in video and I'll keep working on this? Yeah, sure. All right, we are going to try and go full length on how long this actually goes and takes, okay? Back up a little bit, buddy. It is stuck on that rim, isn't it? Yeah. You can see. That's where you suck down there. Yep. 
and it's walking its way through right there. Okay, watch out, buddy. Yep. Can I go show them my Not tractor? Not quite, nope. After this. Good this thing, good thing. It is now starting to get easy. Hey, stop! Did it come? Let me see. Let's go see yep. down there. Oh, it's coming off! Look! There we are. It's coming off good. There we oh are. Oh my goodness. What How long did that take? It took six minutes. Now, how do All I right. pause it? All right, I got it. All right. So that's how long it takes, folks. Six minutes to go and break a bead. Granted, you're gonna break a bit of a sweat, but oh, honestly, God, this survive. tool will save you a heck of a lot of time. Six minutes. We say took the lunch shot. Yep, exactly. Six minutes, 80 bucks. Then it takes you right around 15 minutes to go and uh, lube up the outer edge right in there. And I use a couple crowbars. And I do have uh, one tire iron, but honestly, I use uh, used um, engine oil and I lube everything on up around there and you can pull it off. So, yep, it works out really great. So, thanks.